what is up guys, MKBHD here, and this video is for all of you who saw the brand new, completely insane looking Faraday Future FF91 at CES, and wanted me to compare it to a Tesla and make a little video about it. So that's what we're about to do. So first things first, it's their show car. So this will be the one that was on the floor at CES, and it had a lot going on. There was a ton of people walking around it, drew lots of attention at the booth, and it looks just absolutely sick. The thing is an eyeful, whether you're a fan of the looks or not, uh, it's definitely eye-catching, but so the taillights go all the way around the back hatch, and the headlights go all the way around the front, and it's just really modern looking, the silhouette kind of seems like a stretched out Tesla Model X. Like if you stretch one sideways and added a bunch of new features to it, that's kind of what it reminded me of. Still all electric, still with the battery pack in the bottom, still with the motors between the wheels, but there's a ridiculous amount of new sensors and displays and just things that they've added to it to be different. Like there's a radar LiDAR blaster that comes up from the front trunk, which I guess would make the trunk a little smaller there. A crazy looking array of LEDs in the front grille and also on all other places on the car. Uh, cameras instead of rear view mirrors and even wireless charging with some LED indicators in the ground. Just crazy futuristic stuff for an electric car. But this is all just a show car. As much as you want to talk about it and claim it's your product, uh, it's CES. This isn't a working car. And a lot of people love to point that out. But Faraday Future did bring some working prototypes of the FF1 to CES this year. A Beta Car 1 for the self-driving and self-parking demo, and a Beta Car 2 for a little performance and driving demonstrations. And this is where a lot of the comparisons to Tesla came into my mind when I went through these. Uh, it's obvious there's a lot of Tesla in the car's DNA. They have plenty of former Tesla employees at the company, obviously, but they did some legitimate work to make this different. So for the autonomous driving part, yeah, it had the summon feature, just like Tesla, but uh, this car actually apparently looked around a parking lot for an empty spot, and then when it found one, it backed into it without touching any of the other cars, and the driver didn't have to touch the pedal or the wheel during the whole process, which is really cool from the passenger side. And then for the performance part, I don't know if you've seen the numbers for this car, but they're insane. You know, the 130 kilowatt hour battery pack, a thousand plus horsepower, 300 plus mile range, and a zero to 60 mile per hour time of a stupid fast 2.39 seconds, which would make it the quickest production car in the world if it was in production. But yeah, I got to demo that, and I think the reaction kind of speaks for itself. All right, so I can pretty much guarantee it's the fastest car you've ever been in. Um, yeah. 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 Zero to sixty. Yeah. Zero to sixty is quickest for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do some sweepers here, so you can feel that the car really is very smooth, graceful. Uh, feels really nice, nice and fluid. But we're gonna step it up a little bit, uh, as I promised. So we have active torque vectoring and rear steering. As you can see, the car really turns in nice. Wow. So it's very agile. As soon as you turn the wheel, the driver has confidence that the car is gonna turn. Now we're gonna do a lane change. So what I need you to do. Someone needs to tell me now. You gotta tell me when to turn. Okay. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, tell me now. 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 <laughs> Not bad, right? You guys ready for the big event? I'm ready. A little bit of a launch? All right, yeah. hold on. Seat heads all the way against the seat rest. You guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is legit. Not bad, right? That is legit. Okay, now I need you to tell me something. Yeah. Faster than your Model S P100D? Cannot confirm, but probably. <laughs> yeah, there we go, there we go. I can, because we, we measured oh, it back measured to back, 2.39 seconds. That felt like it. So yeah, there you have it. The FF1 isn't quite dead. I know most people aren't giving this thing a chance to exist, and that's understandable because this is so damn new and obviously super ambitious, and it's been a rocky start for the company already, but looking at all the new things, and legitimately good ideas they have, I actually really want it to happen. The rear wheel steering, for example, was something new. It felt like a really big deal when we did this driving demo. Despite being a big car with a really long wheelbase, the rear wheel assisting by turning up to 3.5 degrees in addition to the front turning gives this car like a super tight turning radius. So that lets you handle much tighter corners and you could really feel the difference in the car. And then there was just all sorts of other little stuff like the, the dual fins at the top of the show car were said to be for dual radios that would be used for the car's connectivity. I mean, there's a ton of tech packed in here, probably a dozen displays all around the car, including the inside and the outside. Uh, the rear view mirror cameras are apparently supposed to be removable and then can be replaced with standard mirrors if you want or vice versa. I mean, there's just so many good ideas. The wireless charging could be insane, but it just feels like the future. So bottom line, 
I'm glad someone's trying, you know? Someone's gotta try. And with Tesla's success, it feels like the car industry is finally taking that turn. So why not be super optimistic about it? And a lot of people are for this one. Cross your fingers for this one, folks. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.